Hey everybody, back again with a clone video, and this time it's one you've been asking for. These are powerful fragrances, long-lasting or powerful projection and sillage or both. So this is gonna be a list for those of you who want the power in your fragrances. So we're gonna get into this list of 12, but before we do, remember to give a powerful click to the like button if you like the video, and also remember to subscribe. I've got videos coming out every couple days. All right, let's go ahead and begin with this one here that is a new pickup. So glad I was able to get this. It was sold out for a long time. This is Luciano Coastal Breeze, and this thing right here, of course, is Luciano's take on the Louis Vuitton Pacific Chill DNA. And a couple things about this fragrance that are unique. One, it is that sort of fresh, fruity, somewhat aquatic, gorgeous summer scent. Uh, it's not that bubblegum kind of uh, sweetness, aquatic. It's not that overly citrus. It's just more fruity, like, you know, almost like watermelon and fresh fruits, although there's no watermelon note or an aquatic note, but that's the feel that you get. But here's the thing. It's an extrait to parfum. I sprayed this on eight and a half hours ago, and it is still very evident on my arm. And for this kind of a fragrance, that is highly unusual. Extrait de Parfum, it's got some power, it's unique, it's so super pleasant, it's sweet and fresh. This stuff is awesome. Get it while you can, it's back in stock in several places. Luciano Coastal Breeze. All right, next up, this is another one that I'm so excited to get because this one is a dupe of Boss Bottled Intense, which I never got to smell the original. It's a discontinued fragrance, quite expensive now if you can find it, a couple hundred bucks. This is Latafa's Nazi Silver. I was looking for the... Um, the sub brand, it's not Mason Alhambra, just straight up Latafa. And this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. It will remind you a little bit of Parfums de Marley Layton, but there's this clean lavender in it. So especially in the opening, there's a very kind of clean feel, but then it starts to settle down and you've got this apple, it's often been called kind of an apple pie fragrance. You've got this cinnamon, cardamom, this very rich spiciness. If you like spicy fragrances, that last one I showed you was more summer focused. This one, perfect for the fall and for the winter. And again, just in a couple days of testing, this is absolutely an eight plus hour fragrance. And my wife smelled me across the room whenever I walked into the room the other night, the first time I wore it. So again, Nazi Silver. All right, this next one, you talk about a powerhouse. This one I would say is kind of any season, but you've got to be able to tolerate sweet fragrances in the summer. I've been wearing this one throughout the summer. This one's insane. This is Barouge Mysterious, sub-brand of Dumont, and it is a twist on Herba Pura by Zerzhoff, and it's got a splash of like BR540, Herba Pura is a very sweet and very aromatic fragrance. This one's got a little bit of that BR540 kind of dry woodiness. Uh, I don't know if it's the saffron or what it is, but just kind of uh, air airs the fragrance out a little bit. I don't really like Herba Pura. As a matter of fact, I don't like Herba Pura, but I love this stuff. It is mysterious. It's alluring. It's very powerful. This is a 12-hour fragrance. It's potentially a room filler. And even if you don't like Herba Pura, you might want to check it out. This stuff is awesome. Barouge Mysterious. All right. Next, let's see, where should we go? Let's go with this one. This is a super cheapy. Last I checked on Amazon, they had it in stock, I think for $9, which is insane. This is Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Choco Musk by Al Rehab. And this stuff is a uh, somewhat woody, maybe a touch of synthetic oud, and then just a nuclear bomb worth of chocolate and vanilla, probably some Kumarin as well, just sweet notes galore. It's very gourmand. It smells like a chocolate cake, uh, and it is you know, a clone, or at least it's very similar to Chocolate Greedy, a 
powerful chocolate and vanilla fragrance that is a $120 niche fragrance, $100. And this one for $9, you get something that's very similar. And again, this is one I'll spray it on at night. I never have worn it out, but I'll wear it at night sometimes. It's very comforting kind of fragrance. And I will absolutely still smell it 10 hours later when I wake up for a $9 fragrance. That is insane. And it's a great alternative to chocolate greedy. All right, this next one. This is a clone of a niche fragrance I used to own that I loved. I loved it and at the same time it broke my heart because on my skin the performance was absolute garbage. I'm talking about Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. This one is Dossier's take on that DNA, Aquatic Vanilla. And on the contrary, this is literally a 12-hour fragrance on me. I've talked about it a lot over the past couple years, which is strange, you know, but it's just, and, and I bought this with my own money. I don't have any kind of uh, partnership with Dossier. I just loved Vanilla Vibes. And this one, uh, you know, I, I sprayed it on paper whenever I got it and set it down and the next day walked in and my whole office smelled like vanilla vibes. So it's basically kind of a, a solar note, suntan oil kind of a fragrance with powerful, powerful vanilla and a little bit of coconut, really good stuff. Unisex for sure, but uh, you know, definitely not too feminine for me. Next up, whereas that one's a good summer scent, if I didn't say that, that one's a good summer scent. This one's definitely more fall and winter and it is a beast. This is one of Fragrance World's clones of Initio Side Effect. This is Intro Aftermath. And this is an absolutely gorgeous uh, rum and tobacco and vanilla and cinnamon. There's also some sandalwood and some saffron, if I didn't say that already. And that wood saffron in the base is going to give you something a little similar to Initio's Oud for Greatness, like 20% of the fragrance. But on top of that, those sweet gourmand notes are absolutely magical. It's a powerful, spicy fragrance with a good bit of sweetness and amazing performance. You know, easily 10, 12 hours on my skin. So again, intro aftermath by Fragrance World. Good stuff right there. Next, this is one. I'm a little out of order. I was going to go uh, cold weather, warm weather, but anyway, this is, I would say, a good fall winter fragrance. This one is a dupe of Code Profumo, Armani Code Profumo. This is Sapil Bound, and they nailed it. That um, apple and green mandarin in the opening, and then a little bit of spiciness in the mid, and then you've got a good dose of tonka bean with a lot of sweetness and some leather in the base. This is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. It is a powerful fragrance. It's a very long-lasting fragrance. It's a sweet fragrance with some spice and some leather. If you like Code Profumo, I don't know of any other really affordable alternatives to Code Profumo, which is now discontinued. This stuff is incredible. Usually about 20 bucks online, Sapil bound. You've got to get over the sort of synthetic, cheap-smelling sweetness for the first three or four minutes. Then it settles into basically Code Profumo, which is really good. All right, next up, we've got one that is a new release. And if you like Parfums de Marly Greenly, then you should really check this one out from F.A. Paris, Aether Extract. And this is an Extract de Parfum. And so it is a powerful take on Greenly. I've only sprayed Greenly on skin a couple times. I don't remember it being a particularly long lasting fragrance. And I know some of the criticism that it gets is it's like a four or five hour fragrance. Well, this one on the other hand is about an eight hour fragrance. Uh, the woodiness from this even lasts longer than that, but it's basically green apple and woods. So there's a, a good bit of freshness, kind of a clean freshness with quite a strong uh, vetiver woodiness. And then that sweet green apple that kind of flavors the fragrance throughout the wearing. If you like Greenly, you know what you're in for. And this is again, F.A. Paris, which is a branch of Fragrance World, Aether Extrait. All right, next up, this is one that is definitely, I would say more for cooler weather. The Greenly clone, I would recommend for warmer weather. This one is Dark Woods with some chocolate. I'm talking about Fragrance Worlds. I believe this is Fragrance World, Mocha Woods. 
And this is, from what I understand, there, there's different opinions, but apparently it's a Bodicea, uh, the Victorious dupe. I've seen a couple different fragrances that it could be an alternative to. There's also a couple Manceras that it's similar to, but it's basically a chocolatey, oody kind of fragrance. You know, think like damp woods with a powerful dose of chocolate. You've got to like oud. You've got to like that almost not fully animalic, but a oody smelling fragrance for sure. Some people hate this fragrance, and I've literally had some of you tell me that it's your favorite fragrance. It all hinges on whether you like oud. If you want something that's strong, woody, dark oud with a good dose of chocolate and some vanilla, then check this one out, Mocha Woods by Fragrance World. Long lasting as all get out, as many oud fragrances are. That's a really good one. All right, this next one, this is probably the oldest one in the video, maybe except for the Owl Rehab I mentioned. This one's been out for maybe, I don't know, four years or something like that. I'm talking about Afnan 9 p.m. And this one is an alternative to Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Mall. And it is a powerful, sweet, fruity, aromatic fragrance. You've got uh, some lavender. You've got, of course, a bunch of vanilla. You've got some apple. Uh, in this one, I believe they used apple, whereas the Ultra Mall is pear. Uh, but nevertheless, they are quite similar, probably in that 85 to 90% similar. And this is easily a you know, eight to 10, maybe even more hour fragrance on my skin. Off and on, 9 p.m. And it's now a cheapie. You know, I mean, it's always been a cheapie, but it's like 25 bucks off and maybe 30 at the most. This is a dupe of a fragrance I've never smelled the original of, Creed Spice and Wood, a fragrance that I don't even know of another dupe unless you probably went to like Dua or something like that. Uh, but here is their version. This is their A++, which is their most dense highest quality uh, version, and this is just generic perfumes, wood and spice, is it spice and wood? No, spice and wood, an alternative to the Creed, and this is like a cedar, birch, woody kind of fragrance, and then you've got some pepper, you've got a little bit of kind of a balsamic sweetness. Strangely, something in it reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Mugler Pure Malt, Something about just sort of that, that sweetness and woods, a little bit of balsamic thing going on. So to my nose, and I'm talking a little bit, like 30%, but just to give you an idea of the kind of fragrance it is, if you like woods and you want something with some spice and a little bit of sweetness, check this out because the Creed you'd be doing well to get probably for under $400 spice and wood, A++. Looking forward to wearing this one this fall. All right, and finally, this is one that I've mentioned a lot, others have as well, but in a video like this, it would be a disservice not to mention Latafa Atlas, which is a clone of Orto Parisi Mega Mare. And this is the most powerful, musky, salty fragrance probably that I've ever smelled. You've got citrus in the opening, you've got some aromatics in the heart, but it's a very salty, aquatic, very powerful musk. Uh, it's not for everyone. And I, it's, it's funny, sometimes in the mornings I'll get a whiff of a fragrance. I'm not even near the fragrances, but it's like I'll smell something and think, ooh, I want to wear that today. And I'll occasionally get whiffs of this or something that smells like it, and I'll think, man, I need to go home and either wear it tonight or wear it tomorrow. There's just something about it that although I could not wear it every day, about once every few weeks, I think, oh man, I need to wear Atlas again. Uh, but be warned, it's strong and it's not for everybody. Latafa Atlas. And so that has been 12. These are, again, ones you've been asking for, powerful clone fragrances, long lasting or great performance in other ways. I'd love to know from you down below, what would you recommend as a you know good price, uh, inexpensive, or clone fragrance that's got really great performance? You know, one of the main ways that I get fragrances is you guys recommend them, and I add them to the list and end up buying them when I can. So let us know down below your pick, and remember to give a very powerful click to the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Justin. This is Siash Sense.